What's up, y'all, man? Y'all know what time it is, man. Today, we're going to be checking out the Wallflowers One Headlight. All righty. Now, I must say, I'm actually shocked, man. I was looking these guys up, and I seen Jacob Dylan, uh, who I believe is the lead singer for this group. And I think his father is Bob Dylan. <laughs> like, I was looking it up, bro, and I seen uh, Bob Dylan is is his is his father bro so I, look i'm not 100 sure you know what i'm saying google could be lying to me but i'm almost certain that that this guy is uh bob dylan's son which is pretty crazy man i also was reading and i seen that like you know they they, they uh interpret and i guess uh use metaphors and stuff like that for a lot of their songs so you know to read in between the lines a bit was with, with, with some of their lyrics so I'm ready to check them out for the first time. Before we do get started, if you guys have other artists, other songs y'all would like me to check out, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's do it. Originally, I would think that that this is actually a song about somebody passing. And that very well could be the case. And if it is, may that person rest in peace. But I'm also, you know, based on some things that I've heard about this song, I'm getting the idea that this is this has a hidden meaning. You know what I'm saying? As I listen through the cemetery trees and even just the line saying, she she died easy of a broken heart disease. Like that's obviously not a real disease. <laughs> so, you know, there's some hidden meanings in here that and I that I'm really really intrigued about. I think it's I think it's a song about ideas um and and the death of ideas. Um but I also really really am enjoying his somber vibe. You know what I'm saying? It feels uh so soft and subtle and he sings in a way that's pretty unique. I must say, you know, and uh, it, it's it's captivating in its own way because it feels like he's telling telling a story from from like a sensitive side or like a, a soft side of his heart. And uh, I, I think I like this style, man. It's not a style we always get, but I'm really, really enjoying it, man.
things that are really, really standing out to me right now. That chorus, I love it. Come on, try a little. I like the way he says that, bro. It's like, I'm a, I'm a sucker for little, like, nuanced things like that. You know what I'm saying? Little subtle things like that. I, I just like the, the energy that that chorus brings, especially because he's so soft and subtle during the verses that when he comes to the chorus, bro, and it's like, me and Cinderella, like, it just makes you feel like everything comes together. And it's like, it's all going to work out, man. And uh, I, I got to say, man, that chorus is beautiful. Also, I like the, um, it's like, a, it, it's a guitar, but it, it, it sounds like, uh, almost like stars. Like, it's like, it's got this like, boom, boom, boom. It, that little sound too, I, I think it's very unique. And uh, and it works really well for the, for the atmosphere of this song. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this so far, man. I'm loving it. It feels just like a beat up truck. That beautiful songwriting, bro, it's there, no doubt, no doubt, it's there, man. And uh, you know, I, you know, I don't know if Jacob wrote this, but Bob Dylan, you know, obviously a great songwriter. So, you, it's there, it's definitely in the genes, man. And uh, I, I had a great time with this song right here, man. Definitely a harder one to decipher. Um, I don't think I fully, fully understand it, man. And I'm not gonna shy away from that. I won't lie to you. Um, I definitely have to sit with the lyrics a bit longer. Um, but if you guys would like to let me know, you know what I'm saying? Give me some insight as to what the meaning, the true meaning of this song is. Let me know, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.